Mahalo gozaimasu. Good morning in Japanese. Hello, my name's Dan Distahorse. My name is Senior Grandmaster Nikia Yamasta. I'm Soki Calvin Campbell, 10th uh, degree black belt from Swadenburg, South Carolina. I've been operating in Springfield as an instructor in Kempo Karate since July of 1972. I started training in 1958 been doing martial arts for uh, about 45 years now? I've been doing martial arts for about 54 years. Kempo is what I've been teaching up until probably four or five years ago. I've been Shotokan all my life. I've done Gojin Ru, I've done uh, Taekwondo, and I've studied uh, Shaolin Kung Fu. But my base is Shotokan Karate. I teach a variety of styles, uh, Tang Sudo, Taekwondo, uh, Wushu, Wing Chun, Kung Fu. Uh, my main emphasis is Kempo Karate. Um, I have a Soki ship in my system, which is uh, Taiju Wuka Kaido. It has Okinawan, Chinese, Japanese, and American. It is a speed system. My expertise, however, is in standing up and fighting. And Kempo suits that bill as far as kicking and punching and a good combination of practical self-defense techniques for today's street combat. Currently, one of the directors for the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, I run the Open Division. It originated about 15 years ago when uh, my instructor, Dr. Michael Stewart, uh, called me and told me that I was moving up in rank. And I really enjoyed it. I teach eight different styles. I've seen some of the good and the bad come and go. Back in those days, karate was much more popular, I think. I notice now that uh, the training is, is a lot more uh, programmed now. The instructors are adjusting to the children and the parents in order to make money. Today is a different era. The martial arts today is a little bit more commercialized. 2% Kempo and 98% how to sell the karate business. <laughs> it's not how much money you make, it's the quality of the students that you can turn out. I'd like to say I'd like to see more more young folks get involved with the arts because it actually helps you in other programs. It helps you with uh, football, it helps you with soccer, it helps you with basketball, it helps you with uh, gymnastics. Martial arts gives you a total balance of your body. You learn to know your body a lot better. I think so. adults need to be in something like martial arts more than children do. I love the practicalities of the Kempo system. It has a, a intertwining effect where it's grappling and boxing and karate all combined together. To get back on the subject of how I evolved into this national international competitor. Various times people ask me why I got into the martial arts. The old way was, was push, pull, you, you bled, you, you, you trained till your knuckles hurt, you exercised till you almost passed out and your instructor wanted more. The key to martial arts is to work with your instructor till he can only take you so far. But I continued to train students in the martial arts that I had learned, Kempo, and we did go to a lot of karate tournaments, even went overseas and competed in Australia. Ireland. One of the biggest things in martial arts is discipline. Not to kick it, not to punch it, but discipline. You need to train <laughs> in order to get out there and not make a fool of yourself. If you train and put your best foot forward, not only would it teach you to be able to defend yourself, which most people think that's what it's about, but mentally it will train you to be able to fight without fighting. I think tournaments are fun these days. They've changed. The game has changed. A lot of speed fighting is done now in the open karate style uh, tournaments and it's, it gives a person the full two minutes of fighting or the full three minutes of fighting now because the judges have only control to stop and to start the match so the tournaments are a lot quicker, the fighting is a lot more great. The young folks these days are so phenomenal. I mean they're moving, they're flipping, they're jumping, they're doing all this in the sparring. What do I think about UFC? What do I think about all this cage fighting? Oh cage fighting, MMA, UFC, I love it. Cage fighting can't be for everybody. We had a lot of great, great fighters back then. We had a lot of people that did a lot of martial arts training local. We had uh, Victor Moore out of Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, Roger Haynes in, Cincinnati, in Dayton, Ohio. You got um, Anthony Bryce out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. You got uh, Howard Long out of Dayton, Ohio. Master Jelks, uh, Master Stanley. 
out of Brooklyn, Cincinnati, and Ed Brown. You got different folks that, that set a legacy. They were philosophers for martial arts. They really pushed the issues on striking, taking a man down. You have to train to fit you. I've trained with people like Mr. Fitz. I've trained with uh, Mikami, Yaguchi, Takashina, Mr. Mori. I've trained with people like Okazaki, Tari Okazaki, Nishiyama. He was definitely a mentor. He was considered a genius when it come to analyzing uh, aspects of fighting. He would say if I wanted to kick somebody in the head, I'd kick him in the groin first once they'd bent over, then I'd kick him in the head. I just refer to it as Ed Parker's sparring technique. And I'm still in it. I still compete. I still like getting on the mat and sparring and grappling. Tradition will survive for a long time. I think martial arts is still going to be around forever. With kata, it's one thing to know the movements, but then you have to know the kata. So you have to practice over and over again. And that's old school because you knew the kata inside now, out. What one weighs the most, going to jail or doing karate? Keep in mind that that person may be carrying just that, a knife or a gun. Learn to defend yourself with what God gave you, which is your bare hands and feet. When you get in a real confrontation, when you run out of wind, when you run out of gas, that's fatigue. It stops the system. I strongly suggest that you vacate the area and not try to be a hero. What you want your child to be is a greater human being. And at the same time, learn to understand his self and people around him and have respect for himself and respect for others. My biggest thing is seeing that small four-year-old that comes into class and uh, he finally gets a move or he gets a kata and he gets excited. That's my joy. Keep your spirit, but keep it traditional. Thank you very, very much for your time.